What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys a guide for Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the top two ways on how to obtain Poke Dollars the quickest way in this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time or find this guide useful, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. We got tons of new content coming along the way, alongside with guides for Pokemon Legends Arceus, a playthrough for this game, and more Nintendo content coming down the road. But we got two ways for you guys today. And like I said, two ways, which I think is the best way to get money as quick as possible. As I know of right now, you never know, maybe sometime down the road, we'll find better ways. But for now, I'm gonna give you guys this content. First way is going to be pre-game. You can do it legit at any time in the game. And the second game way is going to be post-game. So let's get started here with the first one. All you gotta do is come to Jubilife City. And if you come to this dude over here, you can actually talk to him. He sells crafting recipes. And the one you wanna go going to wanna buy is going to be the Star Piece recipe. It costs 10,000 Poke Dollars, which is kind of hefty price early on the game. Cause you know, you're very scarce on Poke Dollars. They definitely don't come easily, but once you get $10,000, you want to buy this recipe. It will be worth it in the long haul. You're going to make a big profit. So once you buy that, you can actually craft star pieces. And in order to craft star pieces, what you're going to need is red shards, blue shards, green shards, and stardust. Stardust, you know, kind of uh, get naturally through the rocks, through the shiny thing. And red shards, blue shards, green shards, you get through the distortion zone. So it's basically items that you're going to obtain just by playing through the game normally. So if you've been playing this game for a little bit and you haven't beaten the game yet, you probably stacked up on a few of these shards and stardust. So if you come over here, buy yourself this lovely little recipe. You can craft a bunch of star pieces. And you guys are probably wondering, yo, jeans, what do star pieces do? Star pieces legit do nothing in this game. Besides, you can sell them for a high value. So if you come over here after you craft a bunch of different star pieces, you can talk to my main man over here and he'll allow you to sell items, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, I think I just go here, scroll over to sell, and I can sell my star pieces as I want. They sell for 5,000 a pop, so we can sell them for 3,500, which is a great chunk. Definitely more Poke Dollars than we have right now, which is absolutely amazing. But you guys are probably wondering, like, yo, jeans. Really don't have that many star pieces i've been doing this for a while i've been doing this for a while so i ran out of star or shards and all that good stuff but it's easy to farm it if you just go back to the distortion zone you can legit clear out your inventory and just scoop up a bunch of them at a time but that's the first way gives you a decent amount of money but the second way is going to be post game so let's head over there and let's check out the second way on how to collect money in this game for the second method, which I think is the best method to obtain Poke Dollars in this game, you are going to want to be post game. The post credits are going to have to ro be rolling for you guys, and after they roll, you are able to do this method. Another thing that you're going to want to have for this method is going to be a big, strong Pokemon. You know your boy Jean's over here bringing Diago. We're ready to rip up, and the reason you want a good Pokemon is because you're going to be doing a little battle. You're going to be doing a little battle. So what you want to do in post game is head to the Obsidian Fieldlands and fast travel to the Heights Camp. The reason we're going to the Heights Camp is it is where we gotta go it's where we gotta go and it is the quickest way to actually do this method so throughout the story the sisters i forget their names they battle you throughout the story and after post game they will start to spawn in the obsidian field lands i marked the places on my map in these little pokeballs you got one here one here and one here so the sisters don't spawn at all these spots they spawn at one of these spots every here and there so when you hop into this place, you're going to want to check this spot, then this spot, and this spot. But luckily, we have a nice little pathway with Braviary the bird to actually get their way the fastest. So we're going to hop up on Braviary, and we're going to go check all three of those spots. So the first spot is going to be right up here, down towards the left, right at this torch right here. So this torch right below me now, if you see her, you should be able to see her from here. You just fly down there and battle. There is an Alpha Starly over there, but the chick's not there that we want to burst. Next spot, yo, why is it so foggy? Next spot's going to be over here near this rock, and did she spawn? Show me she spawned. No, she did not. It'll be right at this rock, and they did not spawn, which is whack. Which is whack. So we're going to check the third and final spot, and hopefully one of the sisters spawn here, and we get the battle. So the third and final spot is right here. It is directly right here, and they did not spawn, yo. They did not spawn. So this is actually good that we got it on video. Occasionally, the sisters do not spawn, and if they don't spawn, we're going to want to head back and reset the whole area. And you actually want to reset the area even if they do spawn. So if you defeat them, get your prize. Or if they're not there at all, you're going to want to come back to Jubilee City and then head back into the Obsidian Fieldlands to try to get another battle with them. And the reason we want to head to Jubilee and then head back is because we have to totally reset the area. We have to totally reset the area to its fullest extent, so we have to totally leave and then come back to it. So this method is basically just a rinse repeat process. You could do this as many times as you want and virtually get unlimited money. So we're back at the Obsidian Fieldlands and we're going to hop back up on a bird and take that exact same path looking for one of the sisters to battle. So we're going to hop over here. We're going to go towards this torch. And do we see her? I don't think I see her yet. I don't think I see her. I don't think she spawned there. Nope, no spawn. So we're going to turn around. Actually, wait, did she spawn? Wait just a minute. 
No, no spawn. It was just a rock. It was just a rock. Do me dirty. So then we're going to head to the second spot over this way. And come on, though. Show me she spawned. Give me a little spawn action. She would spawn at that rock. And no. Another no spawn. Another no spawn. Come on, yo. Last spot's got to got do me good here. It's definitely got to do me good here. No, they do not spawn again. Yo, get out my face. Get out of my face. 0 for 2. Usually do not go 0 for 2. Most of the time, they're spawning at a regular basis. So, kind of unlucky here. You know what? Maybe let me, let me let me switch up the day. Let me throw some luck. Let me go to the evening time. Let me get a little evening action going here. Get that fog out of here. I feel like it's giving us some bad voodoo with our RNG luck here. So, we're just going to switch time. You really don't have to switch time at all. I'm just doing that just to... Just, just to... Just to give it a try, because, you know, I'm a little superstitious sometimes. And then, like I said, we're going to have to rinse repeat, go back to Jubilife City, head back to the Obsidian Field Lands, and go for it again. So sometimes you'll get it multiple times in a row. Sometimes you'll get it twice in a row, three times in a row, and sometimes you'll just won't get it at all. But that's actually my first time going 0 for 2. 0 for 2 is a little whack. It is definitely a little whack. Hopefully, probably not, we won't go 0 for 3 here. Definitely one should spawn, and we should be able to tee off on him and get after him this way, so... We're in the Obsidian Field Lands. We're flying back on our bird. Let's get it, baby. Back on the bird. And we'll go down to this torch. And I think... No, I thought I saw one. I thought I saw one, but it's just Starly's having some fun again. It's just Starly's chilling there. But that torch right down there is where one of the sisters will spawn. So go to the second rock. Come on, yo. Show me it good. Show me you spawning. No, no spawn again. Yo, come on, yo. This third spot, she gotta be. She's gotta be hanging out here. She's gotta be chilling. Come on. Come on, yo. What you mean? Oh, she is there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Beautiful. I was going to be so upset. There she is, just chilling right here on the map. Go up and talk to her, and she's going to be like, yo, let's battle. And I got my Dialga. I'm ready to sweep. I'm ready to get rid of these battles as quickly as possible to make us do this method in the quickest time possible and get us the most money. So most of the time, they have one Pokemon. Sometimes they have two, and I think I believe they can have three sometimes. This one's going to throw out an Obama Snow, and Dialga is a perfect Pokemon for this method because... He can pretty much one-shot most of the Pokemon there. So, he's going to bring out Obama Snow. I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to switch to Agile style, or actually Strong style, to give me a uh, bigger accuracy shot here. And hopefully this lands. It does. Iron Tail comes through here, and we're just going to one-tap Obama Snow, no problem. So, look how quick that battle is, and look how quick we're able to just rinse repeat this method and constantly go back and forth and try to get these people to spawn. So, there we go. Battle's over. She's going to do a little angry little animation. Give us our XP, which isn't bad. 2030, not bad. You can level up some Pokemon here, especially low-level Pokemon that you want to evolve to get in your Pokedex. And then she poofs out of the way. She does like a magical disappearance here. And she drops the items on the ground, which we pick up. And it is going to be, drum roll, please. Give it to me. Four Nuggets. Nuggets are one of the most, they might even be the most selling price in this game. So after you get your Nuggets, after you rinse repeat this cycle as many times as you want, you can head over to Jubilee City. Back to that merchant and sell them. You guys are going to want to see how much these things sell for. Oh, we got to, of course, do a survey result. Of course. What other time can you not leave your area and uh, not do a survey report? I feel like it gets annoying sometimes. I wish you could uh, I wish you could just stack up your survey reports and then just hand them all in at once. That's what I would love to do. Just do a bunch of, just get a bunch of star rank points. But after... We do that little method. Like I said, we could have went back, rinse, repeat, and did it as many times as we want. We're going to head over to the merchant over here, which is this dude right here. We'll talk to him. We'll be like, hey, yo, let me uh, let me sell some items here. We'll go over to our items, and we'll go down to our nuggets. I got a few off screen, so I have 17 right now. And look how much they sell for. 17, or not 17, 10,000 Poke Dollars per nugget. So I could sell this and get $170,000 right now. But I'm saving up. I'm stacking them up. And that is method number two. So guys, there it is, the best two possible ways on how to get Poke Dollars the quickest way possible in Pokemon Legend Arceus. Use them up, get as much money as you can, and play this game to its fullest potential. Because you guys know, money is definitely important to get bag space, recipes, crafting items, and all that good stuff to complete this game to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.